Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing another round of Redbubble shop reviews. So the other day I posted a community post asking for your Redbubble shops and if you want to be potentially featured on a future Redbubble shop review video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date for when I post those because usually I will film the video a day or two after I post those so you don't have too big of a time frame to actually submit your shops. So if you're subscribed then you get to see those posts right away and increase your chances of becoming featured. And of course give this video a thumbs up if you like the reviews and want to keep seeing them. But now let's head straight into the reviews and see what shops we have today. Okay, so the first store we have here is Denise Denizent. Um, I love the background a lot, like it's super cute. I'm guessing you probably illustrate these things and it looks super professional. You have all of your social media link to it, um, your Redbubble store name, your brand name, and a little bit about, I guess, the drawings that you make. Um, I'm not sure what the store name stands for, but you can't really change it at this point, so who cares? I feel like as long as your store name isn't like numbers and letters mixed together, it's fine. <laughs> right, so 120 designs, that's a pretty good amount. And oh, the featured collection is spring. That is so smart because as you know, spring is in the air and people love buying for new seasons. And even without going into any of your other artwork or collections, I already adore these photos. They are so cute. Or I guess this artwork, because you probably draw it or illustrate it on the computer. Oh my gosh, this cat sleeping one is cute. The tea kettle or tea mug. I like that all the store is very similar and it's definitely your own style. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this one. And this cat sushi. Okay, next time I buy stickers, I need to buy from the store. Um, let's go into one of the spring designs and see what you have. So we have cat in a picnic basket. So you have the watermark, which is great because I noticed that not a lot of people have that. So if you want to try and limit the chances of your artwork getting stolen, definitely include that. So cat in a picnic basket is pretty good. I mean, it obviously explains what it is. Maybe say pink cat or something like that spring cat, but either way it sounds good for the most part. Um, we have watercolor drawing of cat in a picnic basket, Siamese kitten inside a picnic basket with a pink bow, cottagecore aesthetic, picnic basket, spring, and summer design. I think that's a great description. Um, you really included like all the best keywords that you possibly could, so yeah, it's nice. I see it's available on 85 plus products. I would try to enable it on everything. Um, why not? Like you could even pattern it on some of the other items that might not work with just like one image of it. Okay, I love this store. I can't get over it. I think this actually might be one of my favorite shops I've ever seen. Um, where are the tags? Okay, here they are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not too many tags, but I think she really is packing a punch with the tags that she has in there. They're super relevant, simple, to the point, and um, you know, describe what it is beyond just the subject, so I think that's good. I would add a couple more, you know, just to get to 15. Might as well use it if you have the room. But other than that, like, everything looks perfect, everything fits properly. Yeah, honestly, one of the best stores I've seen, so good job. So next door here, we have WK Art Creations. Right off the bat, I noticed that they don't have a banner, which I think they could benefit from one because their thumbnail looks really nice or their profile picture. So, you know, if you have something in that design for the background, I think it would just, you know, look a little bit better, more professional. Um, 157 designs, that is really good too. Their featured collection is abstract. So, you know, that's good that you're able to get all those designs together and put it in a collection. I think they're going for like a couple different niches here, like they have quotes, floral designs, funny quotes, abstract, New Year's designs, geometrical. Um, I think patterns are kind of like, patterns and text-based designs are the main things of the store. I really like this one. I feel like this one, it could use like something in the middle, like the pattern is like split up a bit strange. This aqua blue leaf looks really cool. This one looks really nice. I think maybe with like the text-based designs, you could do a little bit of work. 
like maybe different font or like different layout to just make it more like visually pleasing. Um, but yeah, like the pattern ones I think are really your forte. They look really good, like all the abstract stuff. So good job. Ooh, that one's really cool, the holographic print. Um, I'm gonna go into this one and see the tags. This is Colorful Texture Design 1. I feel like that is not, like, I feel like that title is not descriptive enough. So I would say like pink, teal, black, rose or something like that texture design or I don't know if that's like red or pink, I can't really tell, um, design. So yeah, definitely include some of the colors in there. But I like they have like texture in there and colorful. Um, beautiful texture design in the color of black, red, and turquoise. So we have some of the colors in there. Um, I would include pink as well and maybe just say something else about it. Just to add another line to make it a little bit more enticing. Then let's see the tags. We have texture, pattern, abstract. So only nine tags here. So just like the last one, you definitely have room to add a few more and you know, why not use it up if you can. Um, it seems like you have gotten most of the things here, but I'd add some more of the colors, like maybe blue, pink. Um, yeah, some more of the colors in there. But overall, the store looks pretty good and yeah, all the pattern stuff looks amazing. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next one is designed by Darren. So I have a lot of like cool, I don't even know what to call this type of design. I have it like in my head, but I can't think of it right now. So yeah, I feel like it all matches together and that banner is really nice. They have 182 designs and their featured collection is animals, natural and mythical. That's cool, it all matches together. Oh yeah, I think like tattoo style is what I was thinking when I saw this banner. So yeah, that clarified it for me. Um, yeah, lots of collections. And even though they have lots of collections, I feel like it's all like within the same style. So I like that because it really makes the store look cohesive and you know, like an actual like artist made all this stuff and put thought into it. The sugar skull one is cool. The wave is nice. A lot of like cartoon inspired stuff, I think, too. So yeah, I think this store is really cool. It looks like he spent a lot of time on these designs. Let's go into the Sugar Skull. So it's Sugar Skulls galore. Nice and simple. Once again, you can include the colors or I don't know, maybe one other word in there because they do recommend titles being at least four words. And of course the sticker part is not like the title officially. Um, sugar skulls aplenty, lots of eye-catching designs or details. Um, I think that's good, but it doesn't really like incorporate a lot of the keywords that you can incorporate in there. So I would maybe switch that up a little bit to say like green, blue, gray, red, orange sugar skulls or like rainbow sugar skulls and um, you know, include some other details in that description. Maybe even say like what sugar skulls are or you know, what they're used for. So 12 products here. Yeah, some good variety there. Once again, include the colors. So they have designs by Darren here. So, you know, if anyone clicks it, they'll, they'll go to your artwork. But yeah, for the most part, the tags look pretty good. I think this might be the best like tagging round I've ever seen in reviews because they're all like very to the point. They make sense. There's no spam. So good job for these first three stores. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is Lulai. I hope I say that okay. Um, love the background already. Even though it's simple, I feel like it does the trick. You know, it's nice and it lets the like the display picture shine through, I think. So nine is six designs, that is also great. I think this person is going for a few different themes as well, as they have, you know, lots of different collections. Some photography, some illustrations, graphic design. Got some beach stuff, some cloud stuff. Let me just go into the cloud one. So we have cotton clouds scattered in the sky. That's pretty good, but once again, I would include the color like blue um, or like maybe summer, something like that, just to give it another type of keyword that isn't just about the clouds. So it doesn't look like there's a description for this one, so make sure you go back and add a description. It does not have to be long, you know, one or two sentences is fine, but 
just something to add some extra search terms in there and just to give people, you know, a better understanding of where this photo came from or, you know, the, the story behind it. Okay, let's look at the tags. The tags look pretty good as well. Um, yeah, I don't see how they could be much more relevant, so good job with that one. And yeah, overall it looks good. Maybe I would actually like crop this so it's not such an awkward shape. Because I feel like if people are buying art prints, they usually want like a standard size to fit either in frames or like on their wall in like certain spots. So I feel like that one, it could be cropped up a little bit so it's more of like a square and less of a like long skinny rectangle. So yeah, I think I would say either make a square or like a smaller rectangle. And I, th I would say that for like any of your other designs that might be this shape as well. Okay, but let's move on to the next door. So the next door is Cuquetafera. Sorry, I probably said that wrong, but I'm not sure how to say it, but that was my best attempt for now. Um, we have a cute little background here. Boom, they joined in January 2017, so they've been on here for a while. They only have 40 designs, but who knows, maybe they like just restarted their shop or something like that. Like even for me, it took a while to get my designs up there. So if you can, try to post more, but uh, it looks like the ones you have are really high quality. So sometimes quality over quantity. Oh, these mama bear ones are so cute. The vintage moths look really nice. Even all your tech stuff look really good. So for the store, I think it was the second store that I said they could use some improvement for their text-based designs. This is a great example of, you know, somehow you can improve. As you can see, these are really like nicely designed. They have like some nice pictures attached to them and they're kind of like centered and laid out in the best way possible. So it looks really nice and visually pleasing. And yeah, all the fonts for like all these text-based designs I think are very fitting for the quotes and they look like they aren't your typical like, you know, 10 standard fonts. Let's go into this pillow. I really like that one. This is the You Complete Me throw pillow. So. Technically, the title is only You Complete Me, and I would definitely add a bit more. Maybe like Coffee and Donut You Complete Me, or Love You Complete Me, or something like that, just to add a bit more description to what it was, because I feel like people wouldn't normally just search like You Complete Me, because it's kind of random. But I love the design, it's super cute. Um, description is once again you complete me so I never recommend putting the exact same description as the title so add a little bit more in there you know describe what it is say cute couple of donut and coffee complete each other love Valentine's Day heart whatever and then oh lots of tags so maybe a little bit too many tags but they do seem pretty relevant from what I can see Maybe like celebrity is not that relevant, but yeah, everything else looks relevant. So in that sense, it's fine, but I think it might be a bit too many for Redbubble. Um, they do recommend keeping it to like 10 to 15. So yeah, maybe take out a few of those. Like TV series, those are kind of spammy because it doesn't really go with this, but the ones that are like relevant, keep those. But yeah, you have a really cute store as well, and hopefully you get some sales out of it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We have Arwell B. I'm a bit confused by this profile picture because it says DR, but then like that doesn't match with their username. So I know you're unfortunately stuck with this username whether you want it to be or not, but I would either make this like a picture or make it related to like this name. The background is nice and simple. I feel like maybe this part could use like some words or something, but other than that, it looks good. So we have a lot of like graphic design styled stuff, text stuff. I would say like same with these text based designs, as I said with the second store, try to make it look a little bit more enticing for the eye and like something people would want to like, you know, have on different items, not just regular fonts. So refer back to the store before this as an example. Um, let's go to this pizza is my everything. I feel like that would be a popular one. So pizza is my life. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all you can say about that. So it's a good title. 
um, pizza is my life art so here you replicate the same thing so try to add a little bit more say like a funny quote or a cute quote cute food I don't know like something a bit more than that oh my goodness okay I think you might have oh. okay I don't know if you did this on purpose or not like this is all one giant tag so I think you probably forgot to put the commas to separate all the tags. So maybe go back and do that because this is not gonna get you any results. So yeah, that's one thing I recommend. That was probably an accident, but it looks like, you know, all the words that you have in there are relevant, but just not gonna work if it's all one tag. But yeah, let's go on to the last door. We have SM Illustrations, so right away in the name it says, you know, what they do, illustrations, and same in the banner, looks really nice, and they're also promoting, you know, their Instagram on there. I can't remember if I've seen this one before. I feel like there was another similar one that I've seen um, to this one, but anyways, the feature collection is Valentine's Day. So that was good that you had that for Valentine's Day, but now it is over, so it'd probably be good to change that when you get a chance, but all those designs are really nice in there. Um, lots of collections here. Yeah, I really like your illustrations. You can tell that, you know, they're handmade. You actually put effort into them, and uh, I think people appreciate that. Oh, and all your patterns are really nice, too. I like those a lot. Okay, let me go into this one because that one really caught my eye because those shoes are really nice. So it's called Black Sandal Heels Fashion uh, Art Print Shoe Art Sticker. Okay, so I can tell that you put art print and art here. You don't have to do that because if it's an art print, they will add that for you. So as you can see, it says sticker here. So you don't want art print to show up for like other random items. So I would just leave it to like black sandals heel fashion, something like that, or black sandals heel shoe fashion maybe. But yeah, I love this piece, looks really good. Oh, okay, I love this description already. It says they were inspired by a pair of shoes it's on Instagram, cute fashion illustration of black realistic shoes. So she goes into a little story about why she designed it, why she likes it, and I think that is perfect. It really. I don't know, it connects you with the artist and their thought process behind the design and sometimes that can make you want to buy it more. Although I think they ran out of characters maybe or this last word is an accident so maybe take that off but other than that it looks good. Lots of tags. Um, they all seem very relevant, very good. Uh, maybe a bit too many, like like I said, they want to do like 10 to 15, but other than that, they all look super relevant, so I mean, I think it's fine, but for next time, you can, you can maybe lower it, but yeah, I love your store, and good job with all the designs. They look super realistic and really cool. Okay, so those were all the reviews. I really liked all those stores, and like with every other one, I love seeing your stores and getting a chance to look at your designs. It's really cool to see you know, everything you guys come up with because everyone is so different from each other, and yeah, I love seeing them. So yeah, I'll definitely keep doing these videos, not just to help you guys, but just to see you know, what kind of artwork you guys are putting out there. But I can see that my camera is about to tie, so I'm gonna end this video off quickly, and Thank you guys for submitting all your stores. If you didn't get featured now, hopefully next time you might. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see all updates for when I post for new stores and if you want to see these videos come into your feed. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked me reviewing the stores. But that's all I have for today, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!